Hi everyone, welcome back to freshersworld.com. In today's video, we will be dealing with the topic time at work. This is also an important topic for all the competitive exams. Before starting to do the problem, you have to understand some fact. That is, if there is a work that is to arrange the books in a library, three persons does the same work. Here, A can complete that work in 10 days, B can complete the work in 5 days and C can complete the work in 8 days. So, all of them are doing the same job but A takes more time compared to B and C. Or the efficiency of A is less compared to B and C. At the same time, B is more efficient. That is the reason why B is taking the least time. So, from this it is clear that if a person is more efficient, then the time taken by him to complete that work will be less. If a person is less efficient means he will take more time to complete the work. Now, what do you mean by this efficiency? It is the amount of work done in unit time. Also, we can find the work from this as efficiency into time and Time as work by efficiency. So, remember any one equation that is efficiency is equal to work by time. From this, you will be able to find any other values. So, let's move on to the questions. So, the first question is A can do a job in 10 days and B can do it in 15 days. In how many days they together can do the job? Normally, you will be using the equation x into y by x plus y. Here, we are not using this equation. So, here what you have to do is, here it is said that A takes 10 days to complete the work and B takes 15 days to complete the same work. So, when you take the LCM of 10 and 15, you will get the total work to be completed by A and B. So, always remember that Whatever time is given in the question, when you take the LCM, you will get the total work to be completed. So here, the total work to be completed is LCM of 10 and 15. How to find the LCM of 10 and 15? There is a shortcut. Take the larger number, that is 15. Check whether 15 is completely divisible by the other number, that is 10. 15 is not completely divisible by 10. So, 15 is not the LCM. Now, Take the next multiple of 15 or next multiple of the larger number that is 15 into 2, 30. Check whether 30 is completely divisible by 10. 30 is completely divisible by 10. So, the LCM is 30. So, the total work to be completed is 30. Now, we have to find the efficiency. That is, we know the total work to be completed is 30. So, total work to be completed is 30 and A takes 10 days to complete the work. So, the efficiency of A is work by time. 30 by 10 that is 3. And efficiency of B is total work is 30. B takes 15 days to complete the work. So, 30 by 15, 2 is the efficiency of B. Question is to find out the number of days that they will take if both of them work together. So, we know that Total work to be completed is 30. If both of them work together, we have to add the efficiencies of both of them. So, 3 plus 2, that is equal to 5. And we are asked to find out the time. That is, work by efficiency. So, 30 by 5 is equal to 6 days. Next question. A and B can do a piece of work in 12 days and A alone can do the work in 30 days. In how many days B alone will do the same work? So, here the first step is to take the LCM of the given days that is 12 and 30. When we take the LCM, we will get the total work to be completed. So, how we will find the LCM? Take the larger number that is 30. Check whether 30 is divisible by 12. No, it is not divisible. So, take the next multiple of 30. That is 30 into 2, 60. Check whether 60 is divisible by 12. 60 is completely divisible by 12. So, the LCM is 60. Means, here the work to be completed is 60. Now, in the question, it is said that A and B can do the work in 12 days. And 
A alone can do the work in 30 days. Here we found that the total work to be completed is 60. Now we have to find the efficiencies. We know that A and B will take 12 days to complete the whole work. And the total work to be completed is 60. So what will be the efficiency of A and B? It is 60 divided by 12. That is equal to 5. It means that A and B together will complete 5 work in 1 day. Now we have to find the efficiency of A. We know the total work is 60 and A takes 30 days to complete the work. So 60 by 30 equal to 2. That is the efficiency of A. That means A completes 2 work in 1 day. So we got the efficiency of A and B as 5 and efficiency of A alone as 2. So what will be the efficiency of B? It is 5 minus 2, 3. And in our question, we are asked to find out in how many days B alone will do the work. So number of days taken by B to complete the work is total work is 60 and the efficiency of B alone we got it as 3. So 60 by 3 is equal to 20. That means B will take 20 days to complete the work. Hope this is clear to everyone. We will see higher level problems in the coming classes. So thank you all.